hose reel. If you've got an outdoor spigot at your home, at some point you're going to want to use it to water your car. If you don't water cars, you still don't water cars. Like to wash your car, water your gardens, or just hose down the kids in the yard. I've tried a lot of different methods of hose management over the years, and I always end up with the same thing. Uh, some broken plastic pieces and a pile of hoses all kinked up and unusable. I decided to try a hose reel. I picked this one by Sunny Day, and I'm going to show you how I install it and uh, give you some initial first impressions after I use it a little bit. In the box, we have uh, some directions. A six foot feed hose. The mounting bracket. And some lag bolts with anchors. And of course, the hose reel with a hundred foot of hose. Next, I have to determine a mounting location. The instructions say to mount it about waist high, but I think I'm going to wrap it around here and mount it to the front of my porch, and I'll put it a little lower for aesthetic purposes, uh, so I have access to the driveway and to the yard. All right, so this bracket is plastic, and I would have much rather seen a metal bracket to hold this up, um, but I think the way it's designed with these holes, um, having the lags in there and that actually supporting the weight, uh, that this will be okay. I'm going to line this up right here, and I'm going to take my drill, I'm just going to mark where these holes need to be. I'll pull the bracket out of the way, I'll pre-drill these holes. I'm going to switch over here, put the lags in. Uh, this is a, the ever-elusive 10 millimeter socket. Now that I have that mounted, I'm just going to lift up on this and align the brackets. There's four holes and a little pin in the middle that align nicely here. And then this whole thing just slides down over there. Uh, it also has a nice option for a lock here so that someone doesn't steal it. And also so that it doesn't get kicked up and shake off of here um, if somebody runs into it or something. Now that that's on there, um, I now have access to pivot it 180 degrees, left to right. And there's also access to the top and side here in case anything uh, gets kinked up and I have to fix it or I want to replace the hose at some point. That's a nice feature that I don't see on a lot of these. All right now, so let's see this thing in action. I'm gonna extend this all the way out. Let's see just how far we can go. It uh, pulls really nice and smooth. Just a little bit of tension, as you'd expect. I should be able to get most of my yard with this. And possibly the neighbors. And as I let off of it, locks in place. A little tug. And it's a nice tension pulling back in. Uh, the instructions actually said that the more often you exercise this, uh, the better this back and forth will go. It's a little bit of a break-in period, um, but for a first time out, that's pretty nice. A few days later. So after a few days, I've realized I don't like where I mounted this. Functionally, this works great. I can access the driveway, I can access the lawn and the gardens. Um, but I don't like the way it looks aesthetically. So I'm actually gonna move it around to the side of the house, closer to the spigot. And as a bonus, you get a second installation in the same video. My new mounting location is going to be right into the vinyl siding. 
I want to make sure I get this into a stud. And I believe there should be one lined up with this window as there should be a king stud that runs right down through there. I'm going to verify that with a stud finder and then I'll cut a block and mount the mounting bracket to the, the wooden block. I think I'm going to make this wooden block just a little bigger than the mounting bracket. So I've centered the bracket on here and I'll mark a spot where it's just about centered and then square that up and I'll bring it to the chop saw. I picked up these quarter inch by four inch lags at the hardware store, and I'm gonna use a three quarter inch spade bit to drill into the mounting block so that the head of these lags are recessed under the mounting bracket. So now I'm just going to center this bracket and mark the spots where I need to mount that. Hose reel. Throw that lock back on here. I'll attach this up here. One feature I really like about this hose reel is it has a little lock button. So if you have this thing all the way extended, let's say you're washing your car in the driveway or something, and you accidentally pull on this and it starts to tug back, you can actually lock it in place so that that can't happen. And then when you're done and you're ready to retract it, you just unlock it and the little tug pulls right back in. It's a nice feature. One thing I really didn't care for was the plastic threads where this feeder hose attaches to the hose reel. I had a hard time getting it on there and I felt like I was gonna cross thread it. Probably not a problem once you get it attached, uh, but just something to be aware of. I picked this hose reel up at Costco for about a hundred bucks. And I think for that price, it's a really good buy. I'll link below in the description so you can get it on Amazon if that's easier for you. After a few days of use, my first impressions are, this is a nice hose reel. It's a couple of drawbacks. I uh, didn't really like the plastic fitting for the hose and I didn't really like the plastic bracket. I think though, once you get everything set up, it, those things are negated. There are some really nice features. The locking mechanism here is nice. The access to the top is really nice. The fact that it's a hundred foot is a really nice feature. Um, and for a hundred dollars, I just don't think you're gonna find much better than this. Uh, time will tell how well it wears on, uh, but I love the fact that when winter comes, I'll be able to just take this off the wall and bring it into the garage and store it for the winter. And that's a lot easier than reeling up all this hose and trying to put it into some bin or something and, and get it out of the weather. 
So overall, I definitely recommend this hose reel from Sunday. Let me know in the comments below if you picked it up and what you think of it. Stop playing with your hose and come in the house. I gotta go.